IGCSE Biology, Syllabus Statement 323, describing the determination of sex of offspring at fertilization using a genetic diagram. You'll recall from 322 that females have two chromosomes, each carrying the X chromosome. So they're described as XX. And males, they have one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. So we're XY. So in a genetic diagram, we can write down the uh, parents are XX. And we're going to cross with the male, which is X, Y. The gametes then will require that the pairs of chromosomes are separated. So we would have uh, eggs, which either had the X chromosome or the X chromosome. So these, in fact, would be the same. But when we look at the sperm cell production, the cells would have X or Y. So half of the sperm cells would carry X and half of the sperm cells would carry Y. But all of the eggs would have X. Let's look at a genetic diagram of the cross. If we transfer the gametes to here, the sperm cells, here are half of them with X and half of them with the Y. And over here we have the eggs. So it's just sperm cells, egg cells. And all the egg cells would be X chromosome. So if an X chromosome egg is fertilized by an X carrying chromosome sperm cell, we would get XX. And of course, that's a girl. If the X carrying chromosome is fertilized by a Y, that would give us X, Y, and of course, that's a boy. X with X, 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 girl. X with Y, X, Y, as a boy. So if we look at the offspring, we can see there's two X, X to two X, Y. These are only probabilities. That's a two to two ratio, a one to one ratio, which of course means that there's a 50%, I beg your pardon, there's a 50% chance of being a girl and a 50% chance of being a boy.